We're picking Masters winners today. What gives me the right to do that? Well, my name's Keith Stewart. I'm a five-time award-winning PGA professional and founder of Read the Line. I've picked 15 winners in the last 13 months. In fact, I selected the last two major championship winners, Matt Fitzpatrick at the US Open and Cam Smith, who took home the Claret Jug over 260 days ago. I've taught the game for over 10,000 hours and played professionally as well. I can handicap a tournament as good as anybody. And I've made the statement that the Masters is the most predictive tournament on the PGA Tour, so I know we're going to win one more time this weekend. There's been 86 editions of the Masters. And in that time, there's been three repeat champions. Jack Nicholas in 1965 and 66, Cernic Faldo, 1989-1990, and Tiger Woods in 2001-2002. Well, you know what? In this 87th edition, I think we're going to get our fourth repeat champion. That's right. And with all due respect to the Rory story, or the ROM page that may be coming, or anyone who thinks that they can live up to some serious expectations, Scotty Scheffler is the man to beat. Forget what happened at the match play. Look what happened at the players. And look what's happened over the last 13 months. He has six victories. He's the number one player in the world. That's why I think your 2023 Masters champion, or at least my list, has to start with the best player in the world. And that's Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> now, I know it sounds easy to pick Scotty to win. But didn't Sam Burns just beat him? Roy McIlroy, too. Why would they lose to him again this week at Augusta? Well, in my mind, it comes down to two things that are really important when it comes to earning that green jacket. The first is iron play. You'll hear at nauseum this week, this is a second shot golf course. Well, guess what? Nobody hits more greens in regulation than Scotty. And the second thing is that short game. Who has better timing when it comes to chipping in or doing the things that Tiger used to do to the field? That's why Scotty has an extreme edge against everyone else and will defend as champion. Making his sixth appearance down Magnolia Lane is one Mr. Tony Finau. Where he be now? He's always at the top of the leaderboard. Five for five for cuts made. He's an excellent par four scorer. Again, hits the ball high like Scotty and Jason. He's got a very, very confident short game. Maybe the putter gets a little balky from time to time. But I've established that putting isn't the complete key in order to win here at Augusta. Just two putt enough. And his ball striking is better than most of the field. There's no doubt in my mind, when he was in the final group in 2019, he would have learned a little bit from Tiger. And that sort of course experience will serve him well. He has had an extremely good year. If it weren't for the Scotties and the Roms of the world, we'd be talking about Tony every day. And I believe there's a good chance we'll be talking about him wearing some green come Sunday. All right, I get it. Everybody likes to look a little further down the board. I'm with you. I like to do that too. Do you know that Azalea is not the only flower that blooms this time of year? How about a little Justin Rose? Yeah. Truth of the matter is, he's a four-time first-round leader. Guy loves to get off to a hot start there. Remember what he did in 2021? Had everybody talking. We all know he had Sergio talking to himself in 2017 when he took him to a playoff. Justin's been extremely consistent at Augusta National. He's in great form this year and already has a win. He's had 17 starts down there at Magnolia Lane. He's made 15 cuts, five top 10s, and 13 top 25s in those 15 made cuts. He's definitely one of those guys who knows the golf course and would be a great sentimental story. As a long shot, he's my favorite to bloom come Sunday and put on that green jacket. Okay, before I wrap up this video on outrights, how about a couple quick keys when it comes to betting those who think we're going to win? If I'm going to roll with Scotty this week, I got to make sure I limit the rest of my card. If he comes in at 10 to 1, maybe three, maybe four other guys, but that's it. I still want to make some money. And speaking of that money, pay attention to the money line. That plus minus number, right? It's going to go up and down. So as everyone keeps talking about Rory and Rom, I'm hoping Scotty's going to creep up. Plus 1,000, plus 1,100, plus 1,200. Boom, I bet him. You got to pay attention to that. It could win you a couple extra hundred dollars. And the third thing is, Shop your odds. There's plenty of great websites out there. Just Google odds on outrights for the Masters. They'll pop up like you wouldn't believe. And you'll see across every board that each book is somewhat different, which is kind of unique to golf. There's going to be opportunities there. Make sure you bet the highest number. So that's the end of episode two for Masters Week. You want to be a better better? 
That's easy. Tail those outrights we just mentioned. Pay attention to those keys when it comes to betting. Pour yourself a nice, tall azalea drink on Sunday afternoon when one of our guys wins the green jacket. And watch episode three tomorrow on props, placements, and head-to-heads. Oh, and there's one more thing. Always read the line.